Hey guys, my name is Romanda. Stay tuned to learn how to do my go-to classic soft smoky eye makeup. I have already conditioned my face. Now I'm going to put on my Laura Mercier primer and I'm patting it all over my face. I will take a damp beauty blender and apply foundation. Today I'm using the Ultra HD foundation by Makeup Forever and the color shade is Y305. First, I like to distribute the product evenly onto my face, including my eye area, and then I will press the beauty blender onto my skin to spread the product all over my face and my neck. Now I'm going to color correct my face using the eyeshadow color Blazing from the Desert Dusk Palette by Huda Beauty. I generally place it over my dark circles and any darker pigmentation around my face. Now I'm going to take my Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced and place it over the color corrector. Not only does it cover the color, but also brightens under the eye area. Don't I look cute? Now use your beauty blender again to dab over the concealer and evenly spread it until the color is fully covered. It's time for the magic of contour. Using a dark shade that works for your skin tone from the Kat Von D Contour Palette, blend the product underneath your cheekbones, around your temple, your jaw, and the forehead to sculpt your face. A good rule of thumb is going in a number three shaped motion. And now onto the other side. Once you are done with both sides, Use a darker shade to go over any areas where you would like more definition. One thing I like to do is to add the same shade right underneath my bottom lip to create a more pouty lip. One of my favorite tricks is to contour my nose. I like to start at the inner corner of my eyebrow and work my way down to the bottom in a straight line. This makes my nose look thinner and snatched. Next, I'm going to use my Laurel Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set and mattify underneath my eye and cheeks for a flawless finish. On to the eyebrows! I previously created a tutorial on how to get the perfect eyebrows, which I've linked here. So I'll skip the step. Dust off any excess translucent powder and get ready for the most exciting step, eyeshadow. I'm going to take the light tooth color from the Calvin D eyeshadow palette to use as my base. Now I'm going to take a color Lucius and gently place it on the outer corner of my crease and then blend it in an upward circular motion to lift the eye. As you can see, I keep blending up in the outside corner of my eye to get the desired look that I want. Now I'm going to use the color Solace and place it right above my natural crease to create more depth and the illusion of bigger eyes. The key here is not to overblend, otherwise you will not get the correct effect. Take the same color and blend it on the bottom of your lash line. Now you should already have that lifted effect. Next, I will use the color shacks to enhance and amplify the smoky eye effect. Lastly, I'm going to use a smaller flat brush to darken the bottom of my lash line. For a more glamorous result, use the color Nefertiti from the Huda Beauty Desert Desk Palette. Make sure to use a wet brush to place the product in the middle and the inner corner of your eyelid. Now, I will use my favorite Becca highlighter in the color Champagne Pop to highlight the inner corner of my eyes, my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, and finally my brow bone. To bring more life to my face, I will use my Tom Ford blush in the color Flush on my cheeks. Next, an absolute must, my Bobbi Brown lip liner in the color Coco. Since my upper lip is very thin, I always like to overline it to give it a fuller and plumper look. 
For lipstick, I will use one of my favorite go-to lipsticks by Hourglass in the color I'm Addicted. And to tie in the shininess of my eyeshadow, I add a layer of lip gloss. To complete the eye look, add your favorite pair of lashes or mascara. Last but not least, I'm going to spray my face with Kevin D's finishing spray to set my makeup. And there you have it, a quick tutorial on my most asked about classic soft smoky eye makeup look. But wait, I still gotta do my hair. And voila, the complete look. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumb up if you like the video or subscribe to my channel and stay connected.